Like any police officer, PFC Aaron Waddell has his gun and badge, but he also doesn't go anywhere without this. His body camera mounted to his sunglasses. Whether it's a traffic stop or suspicious person, as long as we're out in public, I've got it on. While Dell is among the 18 officers with the Laurel Police Department who are equipped with the cameras to record their interactions with the public. I only see it as benefiting the officers. The only reason it's going to hurt you is if you do something you shouldn't, and if you do something you shouldn't, then you've got to deal with the consequences of that. This is a video from one of the body cameras. A woman in a DUI case flees from police. The entire incident documented to use in court. From what I understand, there was a complaint afterwards, and um, there was a complaint that the officers had assaulted her, the, the female that fled. And you can watch the entire video and see perfectly there was definitely no assault that occurred. Chief Rich McLaughlin says these cameras are key to showing what's really happening during a call and that oftentimes officers can be exonerated based on the video. It's outstanding. Um, it has been utilized in court testimony. It's been accepted in court. It's been utilized in defense of lawsuits. It has minimized the amount of use of force complaints. The lightweight cameras are attached to glasses with a magnet. Officers turn them on whenever they have contact with the public. Initially, it was perceived as a big brother effect, and that you know you're just out to haunt me. You're you're going to watch everything I do. As the officers have realized the benefit of this, and that it's more beneficial than it is hazardous, they have accepted it, and in fact, they're lining up to get the next bound, next round of cameras. At the end of their shift, the officers replace their equipment here on the docking station. The video from that day is automatically uploaded to a secure server. The officer can go back and review the video, but cannot delete it or change it in any way. They said somebody was outside trying to harm her. We went on a domestic call with Waddell. A woman claimed a person she knew was threatening her. All right, come on over here for me. Step out of the grass. The man was tracked down nearby and searched. The entire scene caught on Waddell's camera and could be used in court or if a complaint were to be filed. Laurel is leading the pack in getting these cameras. Big city departments, including D.C. police, now considering buying them. I, I think it sets a pace. I mean, you know, it's cutting edge. It's new. It's new technology. People, when we originally did it, were like, oh, you're crazy. Why are you doing this? Again, it's it's the wave of the future. And they're getting and international media attention. And why is it important that 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 that, that everything is being recorded? Well, this news crews from as far away as France and Germany want to know about the program. The chief says having body cameras would have made a huge difference in Ferguson, where the shooting of an unarmed teen sparked days of riots, looting, and protests. Well, I think it would have told the story, I, and there wouldn't be any hearsay. It would be it would be what it is. Um, yeah, I absolutely think it would have made a difference. In what way? It, it would have recorded it from start to finish. Darcy Spencer, Laurel TV.